Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be carving a super cool little Valentine's Day sign. So, stick with us. So guys, we are this close to 50,000 subscribers. So if you guys could hit that little subscribe button and the little bell icon, it would help us out quite a bit. So to carve this sign today, we're gonna to be using our two inch fatty font and also our template of the month for February. This is the Be Loved template. I'm gonna put a link in the description below for all the stuff we're using today. So let's get to carving. So this is a pretty simple sign to lay out. It's just one line. So what I wanted to do is make the marks where the bottom of my line's gonna be and then connect it with the straight edge. Then I just got to get my spacing right with my letters and spray it with our primer. So I started with the carving liner at an eighth of an inch deep. These are some really small lines on this thing. You really want to take your time and go slow. If you're not careful, then these small eyes right here could actually chip out. Next, I used our profile bit at an eighth of an inch deep. I used the profile bit for the bigger, thicker lines and also to give myself some more room in the body of the big B so I can get my 60 degree in there to take out the remainder of the wood.
For all the lettering, I use the 60 degree bit at 3 16 7 inch deep. That's about as deep as you can go with this bit, otherwise you'll actually go past the cutting flutes and it'll burn pretty bad. For the edges, I just used our 45 degree chamfer bit. I just wanted to give it a nice clean look and a deep chamfer really does that well. Then you want to take a stiff bristle brush and really brush that thing good. You want to try to get all of that sawdust out of there and also some of the little feathers that stick up from the lettering. To sand off all the primer, I used a 60 grit on our disc sander, and I want to get 90 to 95 percent of all the primer off of it. Then I switched to 120 grit on our random orbital sander, and I got the rest of it off. I like to take my time with the random orbital and give it a good clean finish. Then I just threw on some clear finish to protect it and really make that grain pop. So there it is guys. Now one thing to keep in mind, this board I used, it's got a great grain on it, it's super nice, and the, the clear coat really made it pop, but it was hard to carve. Sometimes the best looking grain is the hardest to carve, so keep that in mind when you're picking out boards for your sign. So once again guys, thank you so much for watching. I will put a link in the description below for all of the stuff we use today. And if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email, ryan at makeawoodsign.com, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.